I'm gonna make a gumdrop pillow with you today. This is one of my favorite projects because it's a really, really fun thing to sew where you can play with experimenting with different prints. I'm gonna show you how to carve your own jumbo custom rubber stamps and print multiple stamps at once with multiple colors all at the same time. Today I'm going to introduce you to the Wagga, the quintessential Australian quilt. It's a very simply constructed quilt, so whether you're an advanced sewer or a beginner, you'll have fun making this project. Today we're going to use a Dresden plate, and in that process we're going to look at how to combine colors and patterns for dramatic effect in your patchwork. I was shopping with my five-year-old daughter and found this vintage hat that she fell in love with. And I was looking at it for a while and thought, you know, I could totally make this. I'm going to teach you how to make this really fun embroidered pillow. We're going to use a base fabric of stockinette stitch and you will have a beautiful pillow for your sofa or to give as a gift. Face painting is a great way to create an instant costume for a child, and I'm gonna show you a couple of different types of face painting that you can do for this Halloween. I'm going to show you how to do English paper piecing. We will take the sample hexagons we make and apply them to tea towels as decoration. The sideways superstar hat is a great way to use hand spun yarn or yarn with a really long color transition. It's adaptable to lots of different weights of yarn, and it's made with straight needles so you don't have to worry about knowing how to knit in the round. 